Are we on? Yes, I guess we're on. But yeah, I want to make this video episode number zero of Hustle. This is the first episode of, not the first, this is the, the most beginning, this is the meaty, really the beginning of Hustle. Um, this is the beginning of Hustle. This is the, the first beginning. So, by the way, this is actually not the first video I made of Hustle. The first video was is called uh, Rise of Hustle Episode 1. That's the journey. That's the number one. That's the number one um, episode. But when I created it, I went from episode 1, 2, 3, 4. I made four episodes. Then I realized in episode 4 that I didn't even tell you guys what I'm promising. What am I, what am I making this for? What am I doing all this for? I never told you the why. Why am I making these videos, these uh, um, at, uh, these um, s this uh, Rise of Hustle series? Well, I'm gonna tell you now. I'm gonna tell you guys. My name is Moses Six One Nine. I'm a producer. I'm from San Diego. Um, I was grown. I was raised in East Diego, East Side San Diego, the East, the really bad neighborhoods. Southeast is the really bad one. Southeast, that's the really bad one. I was straight. That was just from East Diego, kind of hybrid of southeast it's a hybrid yeah so what I'm gonna do is this I was raised here and I came I came through tough times in my life really tough times bad people having a medical condition that almost uh, had me dead medical conditions that had me dead almost I just gave up on life I said, what, I'm just going to be homeless. I was homeless for three years. S still am homeless, actually. I'm actually still homeless. I'm just saying, in the next few months, I'm going to be gone from this, uh, three months. But um, I'm still homeless. I can show you my... St this is my bag right here. This is my bag. This is what I... It's actually tore up. This is what I walk around with. Oh, yeah. Don't, just please, uh, be patient. I'm going to tell you why I'm creating this video, why I'm doing this for Hus Nation. So this is my bag, duffel bag. Inside of it, I have my sleeping bag. I sleep in outside. I sleep outside in, in the hard floor, in the very hard floor. Been doing it for for almost four years now. Is this my med my medical condition in life? Some people are just not gifted. I have, so here's my sleeping bag. This big old thing right here. I'm gonna take it all out. I'm gonna. Later on, I'm gonna um, put it back, but this. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? No, you can't. How about now? No, you can't. Ah, I got you. I fooled one of you, one of you guys with the lazy eyes. I fooled somebody with the lazy eyes. I know I fooled one of you guys. Oh, comment below if I fooled you. Comment below if I fooled you. I wanna know that. That was a thing. But yeah, that's basically my situation. I'm um, I'm homeless. I was, uh, but I come from a good family. Actually, my family is poor. And in regards to upper class, we're poor. We're just normal. Like we're not middle class, but you know. But uh, but yeah, that made me work hard too. So this is I'm gonna I'm gonna um, the reason I'm showing you guys this is because I'm gifted. To have done business for a while now I've been doing business for almost six years now internet internet marketing precisely that gives me an advantage over my competitors in the music production in the music production niche so I have a big advantage right now over music production niche because I know all about the internet and making money online so I'll teach you guys this you guys are sitting some so there's somebody called gay beats gay beats GAB He's like me. He basically knows internet marketing. That's what separates him. That's how he's able to make him and um and um Anu Anu Domni Beats, Anu Domni Beats. They're both internet marketers like me. That's why they they're the only ones in the industry right now making millions. I'm the third internet marketer right now to come into the. Um, I'm the third internet marketer to come into the music industry that knows internet marketing, the most advanced one. I'm the third one. So um, you know, you know what that means, right? Yeah, guess it. A uh, trillionaire? No, nah, I'm just playing. I, I might well, I might well as well go for a millionaire when I can go for a 
a billion. Why go for a million when you can go to a trillion? Anyways, yeah. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to create, and by the way, if you want to become like, like, like the internet marketer, all you need to do is just simple. It's really simple. Don't overthink it. Go to YouTube and go to YouTube and watch videos on internet marketing and join a internet marketing forum and just study it, study it, study it. This is the Bible of the internet. If you don't know, you, you can't, you will, you will fall. It just makes it things difficult. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm watching you guys, making you guys see this. This is everyone watching this video. Um, this is the beginnings. This is the very beginnings in my bad times, but I know it's going to, I want to inspire people creating this video. I want to make people motivated. I want to show people that you can make it, that you can be from the very bottom and still make it. Um, don't, hey, don't get it messed up. To do internet marketing, you don't need to have six years of experience. I, I was, I was successful my first three months. No, no, six months I was successful. I was making like $40 a day. That was successful for a young, I was what, like 20 years old? I'm 27 now, my age is 27. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to create the biggest social network in this music industry, in the music industry. No genre, every genre, I'll have it in the number one. And um, that's what I'm going to do to create the biggest uh, music uh, social network. And I'm also going to create I don't, I'm, this one. I'm not sure. Yeah, you would tell me. Yeah, say the biggest, right? But I, I'm honest. I'm an honest guy, and I'm very humble. And I, I'm going to create a media group that I can't say is going to be the biggest in the music industry, but it's going to be big and it's going to be known. It's going to have popular um, celebrity rappers on it and everything. Uh, yeah, you guys probably thinking I'm crazy, right? Yeah. That's a compliment. If you ever somebody tells you you're crazy, take that as a compliment because you think way different. You don't think conventional. You think out the box. You're different. Always embrace that. People call me so. People always call me. You're a strange dude, man. You're weird. <laughs> I don't care. That's what makes me different. Um, always, if somebody calls you weird, always embrace that. That means you're different than the rest of people. That's why they call you weird because. You split up from the norm, and you're not you're not walking with society as a sheep no more. So when you walk out, they try to um, make you look bad, like oh you're to try to make you come back into the matrix. But once you're out the matrix, yes, you're different. Yeah. So I'm gonna create the biggest social network and media company, media group, media company, whatever you wanna call it. It's media company in here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it too. It's gonna be there. I'm like probably probably gonna be the only one in this industry that's revealing secrets. I'm gonna reveal you all the secrets, the juices, everything. Um, gonna create that, and this is really what Rise of Hustle is gonna be about. Is gonna be the Rise of Hustle, the Rise of Hustle. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Basically, yeah, that's basically it. Put your seatbelts on, put, get ready for your brakes. This is going to be a crazy ride. I hope you guys are with me, okay? Nah, I'm just playing. Vito ain't over. <laughs> I know I got one somebody in there. I know I got one person at least. Somebody thought, oh man, this beautiful guy is leaving. Thank you. I try to save you. But the girl said I'm ugly. <gasps> oh. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Um I want you guys to always hustle. Always make it. If you quit, always try. Um, that's really what made me um, successful in the beginning is that I always try. You're gonna try. I bet you a lot of ninety percent of people here are gonna try it and fail and think that's that's it. But really, what separates the successful people from the non-successful people is them quitting and then thinking it's not possible. Let me tell you guys something. Back in 1956 or something like that. 
human ma human man the man wasn't they, at that time they believed that the human wasn't capable of running um a mile in a, a mile in I don't remember it's four minutes or six minutes one of those four minutes or six minutes I can't remember it's either four or, sorry four and six minutes run a mile within run a mile within four or six minutes that was not believed in I think it was God, six well, let's just say six if I'm wrong I'm sorry but um it was believed that a man couldn't run this uh, in six minutes so the um, so they kept trying they kept trying every day they would try but they couldn't they couldn't get it they couldn't get it done so finally one person does it and once after one person does it for some reason after that people started doing it people started doing it. not a lot right but now it's becoming a lot so many people started um, running miles um, before under six minutes it was before that they used to say it was impossible and, and many 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 people tried and they couldn't do it they said it wasn't possible so this what happened that's what everyone started doing it now even kids in high school kids in high school are doing it doing it now look it up people doing it running miles under six minutes or four minutes one of those and it tells you once you once you see someone do something it becomes possible just believe when your your mind your your mind especially your subconscious mind this is this is what controls 95 percent of your uh world your behavior if you believe you believe that you can do this and really make yourself believe in that it will be possible that's uh, it that's what i did and it became possible you gonna it, this video proves it it's whatever going on right now that you're watching this video it proves that if you think it's possible like I keep saying, I believe it's possible, and I know it's possible. You will make it, and you see in this video. That's what I mean. So yeah. Um. Just keep, keep. If you fall, if you fall, I want you to keep. Tr fall, keep trying. Say, say, whoever your role model is, say. Did, would 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 he quit right now? Whoever your role model is, it can be um, Ty Lopez. It can be um, Tony Robbins, Frank Kern. So what Tony Robbins? You think to yourself, will Tony Robbins quit this right now? Would he quit this when you're about to quit? Think to yourself, will he quit this? If not, keep going, keep going, and everything will come. Everything will come. Like Jesus said, everything will come. Just be patient. That's what I did. I almost, I, I, I almost quit. My mom was weird too. When I when I thought about quitting, I was just so like I had my business plan just fall under me and it just the world would just collapse in front of me, and I was like this, just sitting down like this, and just like just this feeling of incredible feeling of disappointment and no more belief this is possible. It really hit me like. What the hell was I thinking? This is not even possible. And I just seen my mom come in the room. It, ironically, she came in the room at that moment. And my mom just seen me like uh, in a bad mood. Like, she, I think she could see it in my eyes that I wasn't feeling good. And she just, I just seen it in her eyes that she got disappointed too. And it really made me feel bad. Like, it made me feel bad that I put my mom down. Like, I don't know. Like, she walked, she didn't even say nothing. She just went right back away. She wasn't mad, but she just felt disappointed like me and I, what I did is I told myself that I just did this I just kept working I just went at it I just kept working and those doubts were still there and I just kept working and as you keep working those doubts they left me those doubts this feeling left me and you know what came again the entrepreneur rush you guys feel it all the time the entrepreneur rush when you're working, when that feeling comes, that feeling, that thing comes, the entrepreneur rush, and it hit me, and it just, everything, I forgot all about the disappointments, about my failures, and I just kept going. When you feel like quitting, just don't think about it. Just keep going.
So if you want to know who about who I am and my background and everything, who I am, to how I fell down, every, uh, the who I am, watch episode one of Rise of Hustle. I go over it in Rise episode one. So a little bit, let me tell you something about me though. Go to episode one if you want to know about me, but I'm going to tell you real quick a little bit of my portfolio. This took a lot of work, man. Um, it's so, so, the rewards of it now is just so incredible, like what I can do and how I can just move to past through competition so easy. If you're going to quit, just know that when you get to the point, it's going to be so, the reward is there, and I'm, I'm living proof of it. The rewards are there. When you work hard, the rewards are there. When you feel like quitting, just keep telling you the rewards is going to be greater. The rewards is going to be bigger. Baby, I'm telling you, it's the truth. So, me, about me. I, in the, throughout my six years of doing this, I... I created, have had six websites. You thinking this motherfucker is homeless? Why doesn't he just? Why doesn't he? You probably thinking I'm homeless and why don't I just make money right now? The game isn't that simple. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna make. If you want to know why, just watch my videos. I'll make a video. Uh, I'm, I'll tell you guys why. Um, I'm actually gonna make a video. Um, just look through my videos. I'll tell you why I'm not rich right now. Or it's really because. My condition, my my psychological um, illness. I have a psychological disorder. That's why I can't make it right now. Um, but I, but I've I've broken through the area of where I used to believe it, it, in my life is over. I just become homeless. I became I, I kind of I, I, thanks to one of my men named Nigel. Um, Nigel. If you want to know him, he has. A, I'll put his page underneath. Handshake Kings, um, this is his page. I'm showing him how to do everything right now, and he's learning from me. He's been teaching me stuff too. It's crazy. Um, that's basically it. That's why I'm not like, but I've returned to that stage. He, oh, Nigel, my friend Nigel, helped me come back to reality, and I'm saying, you know what? I'm gonna start the business again, but I'm not gonna be doing what I business I used to work with. I used to work with in a different industry, and I don't want to do something I don't love. That's why I'm not making money. I can easily go to my industry right now and make some money from that. I can easily go back and make maybe like around three hundred dollars per day, one hundred dollars per day. But I'm not gonna do that. I want to work with what I love. I'm a music producer, so I'm gonna stick to my passion. If you're gonna, that's what's gonna. I, I want to wake up every day doing my passion. Like I love work, so I'm, that's what I did. And I love music. I'm obsessed with music production. I'm obsessed. I, I have a. I don't even when I listen to rap. I don't even listen to the lyrics. I just listen to the beat. It's hard for me to listen to the lyrics because the beat is just so juicy. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm not making money right now is because I'm starting... This is a, this is going to be... You're seeing it right now happen. This is what you're seeing is me starting it. Rise of Hustle Business is the new industry that I'm going to be working with. And um, I'm going to dominate. I don't mean to be cocky. Um, you, how I did dominate? How am I going to dominate? It's because I, I didn't fail. I, I, when I failure happened to me, I didn't quit. I kept going. So tell yourself that you're going to dominate. And it's going to be this failure. If I get past this failure, I'm going to dominate. I'm going to dominate. And yeah, trust me. It happens. It happens, baby. It happens. Just tell yourself that. If the rewards are so much worth it, don't quit. Do not quit. Build a team together if you have to. Build a team. Have a business partner to you doing it with you so he can motivate you when you're going to quit. So that's why. So I'm starting now a new industry. Um... So I can't go make money from what I used to do. I can do that, but I'm not going to do that. It's, I'm going to stick to my passion, music. So what? It's, I have difficulties. Don't, this is not easy. Don't think this is easy for me. This is a challenge and it's hard. Um, yeah, but one thing I'm going to think and not going to think is that it's not possible. Uh, this, what's making this possible is me believing it's possible. It's easy. You look at it. It's, is it possible? If it's possible, it becomes possible. That's all it is. If it's not possible for you, it's not possible. Reality, you really put yourself in that reality. So that's really why um, I'm doing, I'm not uh, making any money right now. I'm just a broke, 
ass dude. Yeah, that's really it. But hey, I'm gonna make it, baby. Yeah, anyways, me and my homeless bag. I wonder where I'm gonna sleep tonight. Oh, this life is so hard for me. No, I'm just playing. I got a good spot. I um I sleep there. I might show you guys my spot um in the next video. Keep watching the video. I'm gonna show you where I sleep at, and I'm gonna show you the homeless shelter I go to. Um, I don't sleep in the homeless shelter. I don't like to be around people crazy like that. I just go there to pick up mail. I'm gonna introduce you guys to the homeless shelter. Watch the video of the homeless shelter video. Um, I've introduced. Um, just go to go to go to my YouTube channel and just type homeless shelter in the search box and my channel put homeless shelter um yeah yeah but I used to have six websites and four softwares how 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 I did that is from just working I don't even create my own websites. I didn't create them. You're probably thinking I know how to program it. That's one mistake I did in the beginning is I thought I had to make it, but you don't. So I always I had people do it for me, and I got it for cheap. What I did is I go to third world countries um, and get it done right there. I, um, I visit them online in the internet, through the internet. Well, I live in California, and that's where I've always been, California. I just talk to people online to get it done. Programmers, they're called programmers or developers. Yeah. So yeah, um, I got six websites done throughout my career in internet marketing, and um, I had four softwares done, all created by somebody. Um, and guess what? And none of them, those. Um, by the way, this shows you what um, failure is. And six websites, four softwares. I failed in all of them, and I failed. They didn't make money out of all six websites. I didn't make money out of them. Four softwares. I did not make money out of them. And baby, now it's worth it. Ah, it's worth it. You see, now the way I would have work and the way I'm going to be living in the future, it shows that it's worth it. All your failures are worth it. So when you're going to fail, tell yourself it's going to be worth it. If you have to think of me, if I have to motivate you, I'm going to be there. And I'm going to motivate you. Um, and um, just think of who, your best people, the best people, your role models that you role model after think that it's worth it for them so it's going to be worth it for you to not quit so I had six websites and four softwares six websites um yeah six websites and four softwares and it failed on all of them so don't think when I said six websites and four softwares I know you one of you guys is over there lazy eyes thought you guys thought that um that I was rich huh no nah, it doesn't work like that but yeah this website is going to be the one. This is going to be my seventh website. Um, it's going to be a social network, and it's going to be the successful one. I know it. So I had to fail, but it was worth it. It should have... It, it's not going to... It doesn't take you six years to do it. If you have someone like me training you and good training, um, you can do it in like in, the, in probably like six to, to a year. It's easy. The internet is a revolution. Yeah, um, I'm just reading through my notes. So yeah, oh yeah, um, I don't know nothing about coding, by the way. I just have people do it for me, so that's it. But I think that's all I have to say. That's all in my notes. Um, that's all I have to say, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video. Um, hope you guys like the video. And I hope I motivate you guys in there. If I motivate you, you comment under the video and uh, say if I motivate you. I really want to. I really want to motivate you guys. I really want to make you want to think it's possible. Uh, I'll be there just for you. Um, this one thing I have to tell you is always hustle.